An overnight bus landed more than a dozen people in jail on drug charges. The Harrison County Sheriff's Department says 15 people were arrested during Operation Bluebird. This was the result of a months long undercover drug dealing investigation and the sheriff tells WDRB he expects to make more arrests. There's only one inpatient rehab facility in Harrison County helping those with addiction. WDRB's Christy Batista talked with someone who was part of one of those busts six years ago and has turned his life around. Like I get the blessing of getting to have lived two lives in one lifetime. Drew Casey Mills works at the Hickory Treatment Center of Corridan, giving support to men who are in the 28 day inpatient drug rehab program. But not too long ago, he was one of them. But when another person's been in your shoes, it just hits home more. Six years ago, Mills was part of a bust in Harrison County similar to the one Thursday, where 15 people were served separate warrants for possession or delivery of meth. So I was uh, charged with dealing in methamphetamine myself in 2017, uh, and I've turned my life around. That was his rock bottom. He went through a program similar to the one offered at Hickory, and now he's dedicating his life to helping those who are ready to help themselves. I was a resident of a halfway house for almost two years, and uh, I go back there four or five days a week, and I mentor men, um, take meetings into the same jail that I was once a part, you know, a resident of. Um, my relationship with my son's been restored. Um, everything that was a struggle is now manageable. The beds at Hickory are full. 38 men are getting help for addiction to drugs and alcohol and also depression, anxiety, or PTSD if they're facing that as well. There's even a waiting list for a bed there, which he says shows just how bad the drug problem is, and it's not just in Harrison County. There's a drug problem in the world. You know, it's not limited. Um, it doesn't matter where you're at, what subdivision you live in, or what trap house you just left. If you want drugs, you can find them. But even with the large amount of drugs on the streets, the executive director says help is available. So reach out, please. Do not feel like you're alone. Do not feel like there's no hope for you, that you're too far deep. Um, there's always a way out, always. With photojournalist Jeff Gordon, Christy Batista, WDRB News.